Woohoo! Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Lego, and we got ourselves a super special haul for you today with a whole bunch of uh, items related to Legos, or what some of them are Legos, some of them not, but they will be used towards Legos. Uh, Lego. Sorry, I can't, <laughs> I can't help doing that, but I have to um, learn it properly. Michael's Craft Store is having a big sale on a lot of their items, and some of those items include storage cases and storage units and such for half off. So if you are a Lego builder and you have a large collection of Lego, you might want to get something like this. This is a huge, well it's actually meant to be a photo storage case. There we go, that's the right size. Uh, large photo and craft keeper holds four by four inch by four inch photos. I didn't buy this for Lego. I mean, I did buy it for Lego. I didn't buy it for photos. <laughs> Sorry, I got the two words mixed up. Um, but yes, I will be using this for trying to organize Lego. Hopefully, uh, just this pack will work. If not, they have tons more. I even saw one that was half off. Actually, like 75% off. But it was a little bit less uh, quality. Like, one, one of the sides was bent and... There was a few of these boxes missing in it, so I'm not sure if I'll go back for that. We're just going to see how this goes so far, and our already current uh, storage unit with three drawers. We'll have to work on that before we get anything else, but hopefully this will be good enough for getting a lot of LEGO pieces organized. I'm not sure if I'm going to move the minifigure stuff into this, but for right now, minifigure stuff is good where it is. This will just keep for other pieces. Now... I happened to stop by a little place called Toys R Us, and, you know, just in regular fashion, I found some more poly bags. And surprising ones, too. This is a turkey poly bag, 40033, av available originally in the LEGO store, but now available at Toys R Us for $5. So not bad, you don't get any minifigures with it, but it is a good uh, build. Hopefully, we'll take a look at it in the build and review. Another LEGO Store exclusive poly bag. This is the Rocking Horse, also $5 at Toys R Us. 40035. Lots of pieces with this one. I was definitely, I mean, it looks like more than our turkey. Turkey actually has more pieces, but this one has larger pieces. So, definitely good to get some of these, like some of the arches on the bottom and on the legs. Good to get. And this one caught, I mean, all. Three of these poly bags caught me by surprise because I was actually looking for the Lord of the Rings Lake Town Guard poly bag, and I didn't find that one in my store. But what I did find in my store were these two poly bags and the Lone Ranger Tonto's Campfire. This is a four dollar poly bag at Lego, I mean at Toys R Us 30261. And I'm excited to get this because I haven't really gotten any Lone Ranger sets yet, and finding poly bags is a great hobby of mine in concerning my Lego um, activities. I also found they don't have Series 11 minifigures. They only had one. And after feeling the package, I realized it was a gingerbread man. I was like, you know, it's it's nice, but I'm not going to get more than one when I can get the Lego Movie Poly Bag. I, sorry, collectible minifigures. Now, I went through a couple of these, and I was able to determine Taco Tuesday. I found him twice. Panda Bear Guy, or Panda panda Suit Guy, whatever it's called, once. I found Emmett maybe two or three times, but I'm not sure if it was Emmett or Gale, because they were very close in their headgear. I think most of them were Emmett. I was trying to look for President Business, but I didn't find him yet. I think I might have found Wildstar once and Scratch and Post once as well. But in these two packs, I have Emmett and I have Abraham Lincoln. I also found, I forgot to mention, Marsha the Mermaid Queen. I think I found her twice to three times. And, yeah, for Wild Style, I wasn't sure because I found the pants, but I also thought it could have been the, uh, whatever her name is. I forget the name. So, we'll take a look at all of these. Let me just make some space. Oh, this is huge. This giant... Photo Keeper is going to be really helpful with uh, sorting Lego pieces. I'm pretty sure most of, you know, most of the types that I'll fit in there are going to work out very well. So, the two figures I have here, Abraham Lincoln and Emmett. Now, I know Emmett is available in a lot of the Lego sets, 
for the Lego movie. But I really wanted to get him now because I'm probably going to get him in a Lego movie set later and I don't want to worry about him. Plus, I want to get this minifigure series completed. And that means everyone. Um, I'm not sure if other stores in my area will still have Series 11, but luckily I didn't lose too many. I think I only had three, maybe four more to look for. Let me check back on my list. Because I have a list on my computer. And I keep track of which minifigures I have. I think I was only missing, yeah, only three of them. So that's not too bad. And they weren't, and they weren't the absolute favorite ones either. So again, if they're not available in any stores, that's fine. So let's open these up, and we'll unveil the figures. Em, uh, as much as Emma was found multiple times, Abraham Lincoln was pretty easy to find because of his hat. So hopefully. Mm, come on. Don't make me... Uh, Alright, I guess I'll have to. Wait for it. Okay, you're gonna have to wait longer than that. There we go. And we have Emmett. This is the collectible minifigure version of Emmett with a different face and a different helmet. Now, just I will have to figure out whether or not his or Gail's are the same exact headpiece. I think they're different. But I'm as happy as Emmett to have him as a collectible minifigure and as a Lego minifigure in general. Great looking figure. I will review him later. And next up, you should have Abraham Lincoln. Now, I I was really torn between a whole bunch of the minifigures, which ones to get first and which ones to look for later. But I thought, you know, I want to get the star of the movie, Emmett. And I want to get the exclusive, kind of exclusive, or harder to find, Abraham Lincoln. So, finding him was great. And here he is. Mainly just felt for this piece, and I was like, eh, I know it. I mean, which other minifigure in the series, but looking at them, has this giant top hat piece. So we'll build him up. And I'm pretty convinced his voice is the same as Homer Simpson from The Simpsons. It definitely sounds similar to it, to me, if you listen to it in the trailer. Great. Awesome. America! <laughs> That's another reason why I wanted to get him, because I already locked out when trying to get the um, Statue of Liberty figure, another American icon, in a Lego form. But, and I got the Revolutionary Soldier, so that's uh, still part of the American Legos. Um, Lego minifigures, I guess. But now I got Abraham Lincoln. Great. Great looking figures. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you with a couple new set reviews in sometime soon. Alright, see you later.